don't always see the night. They say they want a real one. They say they want a real one to make them feel young. Hey yo, what is good family? Welcome back to Astro Nori for another video. Y'all already know what day it is. Today is lookbook day, bro. We're gonna be seeing the full Supreme lookbook. I'd be lying to y'all if I said that I didn't see a little glimpse of it. I promise I didn't go through the whole thing simply because I wanted to make this video and make it genuine for you guys. But if you do end up enjoying this video, go ahead and leave it a like down below. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I definitely am gonna be covering anything Supreme. As far as live cops go, I might try to pull up to the New York store this this season there's gonna be a whole lot of lit content so please go ahead and subscribe down below also there is a giveaway that I am running which is gonna be ending either today at midnight or tomorrow midnight I don't know but I am gonna be getting that out as soon as it's done for you guys now without any further ado man let's get straight into this lookbook so the first thing you're gonna want to do is go to the supreme website here you're gonna be able to see the lookbook and the preview but obviously we only want to look at the preview because the lookbook is more so like the fit picks and I ain't even into that I'm trying to see the individual pieces and before I even even get into this bro I want y'all to know that I'm not gonna cover every single piece because literally I would be here until tomorrow and that's not what I'm aiming for I'm gonna cover the pieces that stand out to me the most and hopefully y'all feeling it I'm gonna try and zoom in a little bit so y'all can see more of the pictures even when I'm not clicking them but first at the top right here we see these leather jackets they always do these leather jackets and they usually go for like seven eight hundred dollars so that's a dub like from the rip next up we got this Gons map jacket right here this is not that bad but personally that's a dub for me like why would I even go for that we got this all over logo denim that's cheeks to me I'm gonna go ahead and skip that after that logo denim we got this parka which looks like to be Gore-Tex I'm gonna go ahead and click it there's this creamish color which is not bad but then there's this fruity like fruity pebble ass colorway right here this looks cheeks like I can't even hold you bro and it's gonna be super pricey that's the shit that kills me we got the poncho which I covered in the leaks right here type dookie i ain't even gonna hold you like what what do i look like pulling out the crib in a poncho first of all just have an umbrella with you dog like you don't need this you only gonna wear a poncho one day out the year i haven't worn a poncho in like eight years and i'm not looking forward to it this one would be like 400 beans too so nah <laughs> nope they could miss me with that shit for real but we got this leopard looking jacket this one isn't bad i guess but the price on this one is gonna be insane i could already tell it's reversible has leopard and it's like like this fox suede type situation going on and hey, they tripping on this one i'm not gonna get that for sure i usually miss out on all the jackets from supreme i might try to pick one up this season or two but these shits ain't looking too promising you feel me we got this vanson looking jacket right here this is actually not half bad i'm usually not the person who wears anything like this but i could see from a standpoint of somebody who likes this type of piece they would probably like this you feel me i'm not that's just not me but this is pretty cool i guess oh shit this is actually ghost rider on the back so that's pretty sick it's just not me bro i'm not about to pay a thousand for this jacket that's just out the way like personally i like the white one i don't know why but it just stands out to me more the black one is kind of like Eh. All right, we're going to get through these. I feel like I'm talking too much real quick. I'm going to skip some of these jackets because honestly, they're type dookie. We got like this leather pea coat looking shit. That could stay right there. We got another leather jacket. Anything leather, y'all could look at on your own because I'm not trying to see no leather shit on this video, to be honest. But we got this New York denim jacket. This one is fire to me. This kind of gives me the vibe of when you go to New York and they paint you like that picture on like this cardboard paper. It looks so sick. But will I go for it? I honestly don't know as of yet it all depends on what drops that week like if there's nothing else that i want that week and this drops i might go ahead and get it i don't know what color i would go for it in maybe the denim color honestly this is pretty cool though in my opinion i am feeling it i feel like they do things like this kind of on the reg like i feel like spring summer 18 they did something similar to this but next up we got this piece that we actually saw when the lookbook leaked per se and this this puffer jacket that has supreme like embossed in it it kind of is the same as a chanel jacket that came out they just did their own version of it and i guess it's pretty cool this is the type of jacket that'll keep you hot as well because as i just read it does have downfill on it which means that it's full of feathers my g like if the feathers start coming out this jacket you probably will fly away so go ahead and get this if you're trying to fly like an eagle that was so corny i'm sorry i'm sorry for real just disregard what i just said but next up we got this reaper work jacket this one kind of reminds me of like this canvas it's like a painting honestly on a jacket and it gives me like a dope vibe honestly 
What I do like on this piece is that the Reaper is not like major or it doesn't look too aggressive. It looks simple, you feel me? It has a simple branding at the bottom, which is low key, but it's fire at the same time. It's one of those pieces where if you know, you know type shit. And if you don't, hey, you're out the loop. But this is pretty cool in my opinion. I'm kind of feeling this one, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty cool. We got this work jacket right here. Hey, they could hold a knob with this one. This is just not, it's not going down, bro. This reminds me of the spider jackets from way back in the day. They could hold that one, for real, for real. We got some pea coats. We got this quilted jacket that we saw leaked literally like probably last season type shit. It has the Supreme Arc logo on the back. We already spoke about this in one of my leak videos. We're gonna go ahead and skip on that. We got this black jacket right here. We spoke about that too. That's the same one. We got this other jacket right here, which gives me that vibe. It's kind of like a track jacket. It's a Gore-Tex and Supreme jacket. It's nothing over the top. Like it's just a simple jacket. And when it comes to these simple jackets, I would honestly recommend just buying the original brand so you don't get up marked. But at the same time, I know we're here for Supreme. That red and white one is not bad when it comes to Supreme. We got these vests they could hold. We got this pimp jacket. They always come out with the pimp suede jacket. This one is all right, but hey, I'm not even gonna take it there for y'all. I'm not gonna do it to you. We got this reversible patchwork quilted jacket. This is literally all of our grandmother's blankets sewed together. Like your mother, your mother, her mother, her mother, and yours too, all sewn together, literally. All these shits in one with a little arc logo on the pocket. That's what you get with this jacket right here. After that, we got a jacket I've been waiting for. I'm gonna actually try and go for this for sure. Now, will I wear it? I don't know, but will I sell it if it's a good price? Hey, I might have to. The branding on this is spectacular. I think I spoke about this in one of my leak videos as well. I feel like this piece right here will have resale and this is the jacket. So I feel like it will do better. I don't know. That's just my take on it. Especially if you hold it for like a year or until fall, winter, this will definitely Definitely rise in value for sure. But next up, we got this sexy ass spandex jacket. I, I don't mean it like literal, like it doesn't look good to me, but this like plastic bag looking ass jacket, I'ma skip on that for sure. That's a dub, but this jacket right here gives me a vintage vibe. This is like an orange yellow scale type jacket and it's not bad, bro. Like it's actually pretty cool. It has the Supreme branding on the back. It also has branding on the front. So for people who like double branding, this is for you. Honestly, I would definitely say that I like the blue one more like that blue scale is better than me but once again that's just my flavor when it comes to it we also do have a black one but you cannot go wrong with you already know how that goes but we got this Chinese type letter jacket it's all right bro I'm not even gonna go through this it's all right we spoke about this starter looking ass jacket right here we got different team colorways yeah that's a dub as well we got the wolf jacket that we spoke about when the leaks was coming out this one will have resale don't get it twisted this is like that horse jacket that came out a while back there was another jacket that came out last season that had the same effect it was more like an all-over print type jacket and the shit sold it's also fleece so when it comes to fleece all over print and supreme branding that's three things that could get you that bread i'm gonna try to go for this strictly for resale for the personal i'm good on that for real for real but all of these jackets after that are looking type dookie the last one that i'm gonna cover is this playboy jacket because it is playboy and it's this type crew jacket i don't know what that means but but this is I, bro. It's just, it's kind of lazy in my opinion. It just has Playboy going all across it. And I can honestly miss this shit. Like, it's, it's nothing. You feel me? We got some suits coming out. We got some vests coming out. Then I think we about to get into the, oh my God, it's more jackets, bro. They are tweaking with the jacket. There's hella jackets. We got this other jacket right here, which actually doesn't look that bad. This is a tape seam jacket. They typically drop one of these each season. And this one doesn't look half bad. I like the fact that it has branding on the top and on the side. It doesn't look too bad. The black colorway is pretty simple. That pink is wilding. Like this pink is tweaking out. We got four colorways out the four. I like that blue and green and that black color. Besides that, they could hold the rest. Honestly, I'm about to go ahead and get into the shirts cause it's too much, bro. Like it's literally too much. What the fuck is, what is this? What is this? Bruh, if you cop this from Supreme, bruh, just stop buying Supreme. Like, where they coming from with the drill bits? Like, who needs a drill shirt? That shit just pissed me off. Like, what? why? We got that Reaper shirt. Honestly, I'm not even about to cover the shirts because who really bought the cop Supreme shirts? And these shits are looking iffy. Oh, uh, for real. Like, these ain't even hitting. If there's anything that I feel like will hit from these, I'm gonna let y'all know. But these shits are ass. Yeah, the shirts are ass. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the shirts. 
Jets. Now we about to get into the jerseys with the sweaters and shit like that. Let's go ahead and talk about these. We got this tag logo sweater. We spoke about that already a while back. We got this patchwork mohair cardigan. I feel like the people who buy Supreme to not buy the hype pieces will go for that cardigan right there. I don't know, just take my word on that. We got this Castelli cycling jersey. But why on this piece? Like, why on this? Out of all the shit that's coming out, why on this? Why does this have the box logo? I don't know, maybe I'm tripping. We got this old dirty bastard baseball top. This is not bad. I would not wear it, but it's ODB, so I had to pay my respects. This is hard, I guess. We got this barbed wire jersey, hold that. We got this red rum baseball jersey, they could hold that. We got a bunch of shit they could hold right here. Literally, if I see something I like, I'ma let y'all know. We got the drill bit ringer shirt, they could hold that. There's a lot of pieces that aren't up to par. We got this S logo polo. Hey, that just rhymed low key. This S logo polo right here, it's type fire, it's simple. Got the S logo on the side, literally blasted on there. But it's not one of those Supreme pieces where it screams Supreme at you. This is one of those, if you know, you know type pieces. And if I were to get this, I would honestly go for the black one. That's just typical of me. It's either the black or the red. I don't really fucks with the yellow one. We about to go ahead and keep it stroking and poking. All these other pieces, they could hold for real. I feel like they've done that stripe waffle top. That one, they already did it before. But they do got this Ghost Rider Roglan long sleeve. When it comes to this, I feel like I like this more than the Vanson jacket. Like, it got the Supreme on the sides. I would go for the black one in this because it's more tonal. It's more simple. Like I said, it got the Supreme on the sides. My camera about to die. Why now, bro? Supreme on the sides. Got that Ghost Rider on the front. I don't know if it has anything on the back, but it's still pretty clean in my opinion. Besides that, the rest of these long sleeves look at type cheeks. One of them that I do like is the City Arc. This one is type hard. I might have to pay the extra price for this one. This is actually type fire. It got that Supreme Arc logo, but it's like parts of the city in it. Like that's so fire to me, honestly. I feel like this one is definitely gonna have to come with me and I don't care the price. Like this one is hard. It kind of reminds me of the Rocks tee that came out, but this is like a better version of it. Especially since I'm from New York, that's just a better piece to me. Maybe I'm tripping, but that pretty much does it for the tops and sweaters. Let's go ahead and get into the sweatshirts. I'm honestly looking forward to this box logo being in here. Let's go ahead and find that. But we're gonna get through this first. We got this classic ad sweatshirt. It's high. That's not bad, actually. One that I actually like is this patchwork tie-dye sweater. This reminds me of that piece that came out a while back that actually was really popular. That was one of the first pieces that I saw from Supreme, and I used to love that piece, so I'm gonna definitely have to go for this. It got the old English branding right here, which is pretty cool as well. We got the S logo, bruh. When I saw these shits yesterday, I was literally shocked, bruh. These are so clean. This colorway, not for me, but some of these other colorways are hard. Like, mainly, I like the black one that we saw on the dude that was literally jawing the hamburger. That one was pretty cool. Second, I do like this red with the navy and the gray. That's a pretty typical color blocking. Then we got this pink with the navy and the olive. This isn't bad as well. The last one that I do like is the main one that they showed us, but the other three I would definitely go for. My order would be the black one, then the red one. If I can't get those, I'll go for that navy with the pink. Fuck it, bro. But that is pretty clean. We got the toy Uzi sweatshirt. I'm not about to open all of these shits. I'm not even gonna lie. But we got this Know Thyself sweatshirt. This is actually, I, mm, nah, this shit type ass. We got the Apple sweatshirt that we saw before. Some of these pieces are literally like, why? We got this Old English striped zip up shirt. I feel like this reminds me of the old Supreme vibes like 2008. Honestly, I wasn't even buying Supreme back then, but I do my research. I be going through the pieces. This reminds me of like that vintage waffle on the inside type sweatshirt. I'm not gonna go for this. I'm gonna keep it funky with you, but this art sequin art type shit on the hood. We see that all the time. The small boxes come out every season. This tag logo sweatshirt is actually fire. I am highly into graffiti. I don't know if y'all know that. This is fire, bruh. I'ma need this. I'ma actually need this sweater right here. This is clean to me. Like, let me see what colors. Ooh, they got some fire colors too, bruh. I feel like this goes with any of these colors because it's a simple logo. So it literally just matches perfectly on everything. I'm feeling that for sure. That's definitely going to be one of the pieces that y'all see me pick up this season. Yo, this video about to be long as shit. Next up, we got pants. I'm about to run through these. I know I'm going to have to charge my camera and come back. We about to run through these pants. We do got the 
Ghost Rider pants right here. We got some Gore-Tex pants, the typical shit. We got some overalls, the Gons map denim. Bro, the Panther type ass, or maybe just not my style, you feel me? We got the patchwork cargo pants. We got the drill bit pants, the tie-dye patchworks, which are actually pretty clean if you have the set, I guess. Or would you wear the set? I wouldn't. I don't know, it's pretty cool though. The Panther type ass this season, but that's go figure. I feel like the shorts are gonna be better than the pants because it is about to be summer. Well, not really, but you know, we got these S logo pants, bruh. These are clean, bruh. These are actually fire. These give off that bape split vibe. I like these, bro. That black with the brown remind me of that old English hoodie that came out a while back as well. These are fire to me, bro. I'm gonna need some of those for sure. Then we got the Grand Prix belted pants and we got the S logo shorts. You can't go wrong with either of these right here these are clean bro the colorways on this simple but they do the job then we got this grand pre shorts which are fire to me bro these are actually clean got that supreme branding at the top right there not bad then the rest of these shorts they could hold we got some odb shorts which aren't bad these are just literally some basketball shorts with that design on it i'm gonna go ahead and get into the t-shirts now the t-shirts let's see what they talking about the fuck we got this christopher walken shirt right here this is the king of New York. I don't know, bro. This is the photo tee, I guess, for this season. This is ass. This is straight ass, bro. Damn, they disappointed right there. But we do got the Supreme Fine Arts t-shirt, which is ass. We got this front t-shirt. The fuck is that? Oh my god. That's ass. It's like a Supreme grill with basically a grill that just says Supreme on it. This is fire. The creeper tee is so hard. This is the one that I'm gonna go for for the personal. Hopefully, people are snoozing on this one, but since there is a lot of colors most likely i could pick this up i like this one like it's a little bit od but it's not od like you know what i'm saying this is actually pretty clean he got the supreme on the side right there then he's holding like this skeleton and there's like a supreme bow tie on it it's not bad at all but next up we do got this fruit tea who's buying this like if y'all gonna buy this let me know down below why you gonna buy this like just please let me know bro this kind of reminds me of that gons tea that came out a while back it's kind of lazy in my opinion but that color they always come out with in spring summer i guess it's all right this is the hard goods tea they could keep that this is actually not bad wait what hold up oh nah why they do oh supreme original sin i'm trying to see like is there anything weird what the this is type weird i'm not gonna hold y'all the only thing that's throwing me off on this one is that one of those pictures at the top like what the fuck this would have actually been a hard tea hadn't it been for that right there like i might still go for it and see how prices go on it. They tweaking on this one. I'm a middle finger to the world. This is one of those lazy shirts. Yo, these looking type ass. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. We got this kids tee right here. Bro, why is the girl saying I love seeing? Like, what is wrong with this? Like, what's going on, bro? I'm gonna go ahead and skip this one right here. We got this tee that I did cover yesterday. This is gonna be called the not tee. Seeing all these other tees, I actually like this one now. Like, the other ones are bugging out. Like, this is actually not bad, I guess compared to these other tees this is one of the better ones honestly maybe i'm just tripping but that's just how i'm looking at it we do got this long sleeve right here which is actually type hard this is the real shit long sleeve this is clean i like the perp on black it's simple on the front i don't care what it has on the back because typically i wear a jacket or some shit but this is not bad i'ma definitely be trying to go for this i feel like they they kill it with the long sleeves but that other shit bro i feel like there's like maybe maybe three shirts that are like okay this is pretty cool but the other ones bro nah no 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 next up i'm gonna cover some of these hats for y'all i'm not gonna go through all of these because they do a lot of hats i'm gonna do like the most iconic looking ones like this grand prix right here this one is actually pretty clean in my opinion i like the fact that it's that all over print still ties it all in with the supreme logo right here not bad you feel me this is not bad we do have a lot of the more common hats right here i'm not really gonna get into a lot of these we got this s logo which looks tragic this looks tragic bro that's ass i'm sad about that low key damn headbands look ass like this season's lookbook ain't looking too promising yet i don't know but we got this washed out camo camp cap this is fire i like the washed out camo on it because it's not as like vibrant
vibrant. It just looks clean. That blue colorway in the middle is hitting. I actually really am feeling this and I feel like this will drop week one. Don't take my word on it, but I do feel like that will be the case. Next up, we about to get into one of my favorite parts, which is the bags. Let's go ahead and see what they talking about. All right, so I'm not a fan of the backpack off the rip. This is all right, like you feel me? This is for the people who like the backpacks. They are going back to Cordura. Last season, they didn't do Cordura and the quality wasn't as good as it should have been. But when they do the Cordura bags, they usually are a heftier material. So I guess this is all right. Definitely not going for it. We got the duffel bags right here. That's another pass for me. The waist bags. I don't know how to feel about this one. Like the shape on this bag is kind of weird. I feel like the perfect shape for their bags was the SS18 bags. All right, so before my camera died, I actually left off on these waist bags right here. And I'm not gonna lie, these shits are half assed in my opinion. I just don't like the shape of them. I feel like the shape on the other ones are way better. And this one is just a dub for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip that. Now the shoulder bag, once again, it kind of looks like a lunchbox. I am gonna get it, don't get it twisted, but I don't know, bro. I feel like the baby blue one is a sick colorway to have on a shoulder bag. So I'm gonna definitely go ahead and pick this one up for the personal but as far as resale goes on this one i honestly don't really see it having much i feel like the black one is cool all the colorways are cool the olive one is kind of like a weird olive color i don't know for me it's either the olive or the baby blue i feel like they always do red and black so i'm gonna lean away from those let me know what y'all think about the bags this season i honestly don't know bro there are right. we got this organizer pouch right here which is kind of like that little pouch we got last season that was clear that you could put your stuff in the toiletry bag or something like that this is the same shit basically but not see-through this is a dub for me i might get it just to hold it and see how the price goes on it personally for the personal nah i like this utility pouch though this is actually pretty cool and i'm gonna definitely be trying to go for this right here this is kind of like an id holder it's something that goes around your neck or your waist let me see it just says utility pouch but it is pretty cool i like the colorways on it it's either the camo or the blue for me that blue is hitting in my opinion and so is the camo i feel like they haven't done camel bags in a little while the last ones i remember was 2015 i believe these aren't bad we actually got this leather waist pouch which isn't half bad i actually think it's pretty cool will i go for it i don't know like i literally don't know as of yet but this is probably going to be around that 150 one something this ain't going to be less than 128 in my opinion i'm gonna get into the accessories which is basically what people are hyped on we got a drum set bruh we got a supreme drum set this is so cool bro i feel like this has to be at least 2k off the rip that's pretty pricey but then again it is a complete supreme drum set that's so fire to me we got this porcelain figurine right here super clean i actually do like it i feel like this is something that you could just set up in your room somewhere it has like that grandma grandpa feel to it but it is supreme at the same time so it is pretty cool like i said before we are going to be seeing the pool cue which is fire bro even the little casing to put the Q in has Supreme on it. If they are dropping the pool table, this is perfect. Like this looks so fire in my opinion. Hopefully it's not a whole band. I feel like it's gonna be at least 300 minimum. I don't know how much pool cues go for, but I feel like this could be a little pricey. We got a lot of heat. We got this chain right here. And I think it's called the Libertad Gold Pendant. These usually go for a lot of money when Supreme drops them, but typically they sit on the website for so long that they drop in price, most likely on StockX. Even if I wanted this, I wouldn't get it from Supreme. I'm just recommending that to you. I don't know how this one's gonna be, but I know that in the past, that's exactly what's happened. And I'm pretty sure it will happen here. We got this ODB rug, so fire, bro. This is so clean. I feel like I would get this and just put it away somewhere and hold it for a while. This is hard, bro. That's so fire to me. We got this hammock right here. Yo, they're doing it. This is something that we didn't see in the leaks. This is so clean, bro. Literally a vibe. I think I might end up getting this right Right here we got the little supreme coffee maker y'all don't understand like if you're in a hispanic home you feel me right here literally this is crazy to see i i can't i'm feeling it. i'm gonna definitely have to go for that right there i feel like that's something that's been faked a lot or we've seen like mock-ups of it a lot but for them to actually make it is so clean to me we got this Front's keychain, which is the keychain that says Supreme on it. That's a dub. We got the water cannon. Y'all already know how I feel about this one. This is 
beauty at its finest like i'm gonna try and skip through some of these we got the band-aids coming out so fire we got this photo frame which has supreme literally blasted all through it so clean as well yo one of my favorites is this hot wheels bmw m3 this is crazy this is insane bro they're gonna have a hot wheels car i don't know how big this is gonna be but that is that's so clean bro i'm gonna have to get that hopefully it's not a whole lot of bread or it doesn't resell for like a band or some shit like that because this is so clean to me i'm gonna have to get that it takes me back to childhood memories i'm gonna need that we got the metal lighter holster that's a dub we got the diamond plate zippo that's clean i'm gonna probably get that if it drops week one we got this lock with we, we got this lock which we spoke about the flashlight we already covered we got this tape measure which is pretty clean i'm gonna go ahead and get that as well fuck it then we have some other things that we already covered Ooh, we got supreme nba and nike headband that is much needed hopefully it's not a thick ass headband and it's one of the thinner ones because i'm a i'm a big ass fan of the thinner headbands this is crazy bro we got some slippers coming out yo 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 we got like some sauna type vibe slippers these are crazy as well there's a lot of heat bro there's literally a lot of fire coming out bro we got that knife which we covered already there is a lot of heat and last up we got these skate decks Ooh, two of these skate decks are fire bruh this airbrush floral one is beautiful i need this for my room i feel like this one right here will have resale guaranteed damn near oh my god my memory is about to run out of space this would be hard bruh and then this molotov kid right here is fire as well it's more of a playful skate deck but that pretty much does it for the lookbook yo i am uh, it's like a half and half it's good but it's not at the same time i want to know what y'all have to say down below i feel like this season could have been better but it also could have been worse there's a lot of heat but there's also a lot of trash so let me know what y'all think down below leave a like if y'all enjoyed this video subscribe because this is a long ass video and i'm gonna try to make a couple more videos talking about the lookbook week one i'm gonna talk about all the drops every week i'm gonna be here trying to do a live cop for y'all as well so go ahead and subscribe click the gleam link if y'all want to enter in the giveaway and i think i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one yo this season is kind of weak but peace stay up and I'm out. Never see the sun, always see the night. They say they want a real one. They say they want a real one to make them feel.